I just know I was in New York City in the mid 80s and we heard that two of these friends of ours had died of this heroin and in the old days heroin in New York City was China White and it came in these little plastic these little like wax paper packets and they were stamped to say what dope it was right so it'd have like Marlon Brando's picture from The Godfather and it'd be that's the Godfather dope and it would have you know merry-go-round or it would have Cher's picture on it um, even after the World Trade Center, it had pictures of the World Trade Center with a plane crashing into it. So it's an underground, gross, dry, black humor world of drug dealing in New York City. So we were trying to find out from a friend of theirs' girlfriend where they got that dope and what was on the packages. <laughs> Because we wanted to go find that dope, and then of course we wouldn't die of it. We would just do a little bit less to get the best effect. That's what's happening in Ohio and Pennsylvania and 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 Tennessee and New New Hampshire and Vermont, where you're hearing about this high death rate. It's not like us drug addicts don't know people are dying from this stuff. We just think we're going to do it smarter, different, better. For years and years, I didn't really have a place to live, though I made money. I just always spent it on drugs. And I would be like kind of wandering from place to place and I would find myself in a, in a tight spot for a couple of days where I'd sleep in my car or I'd, you know, just be smoking crack on the streets and leaning up against a building. And I remember thinking, like, I want to kill myself. And then I'd go get $20 worth of dope and I'd think, like, everything's going to be fucking great. <laughs> how, like, how can a chemical get you from wanting to kill yourself planning on how to get a gun or what bridge to jump off of and you just do twenty dollars worth of a drug and you think that like this shit's gonna work out <laughs> right so i never felt that the other side of the aisle which is the side that i am on now the counselor side the rehab side the the kind of educational side really understood that pull just that the drug experience has government officials are just like have you ever seen such craziness? Right? Yeah, I was that craziness. Like, oh my God, I'm being an asshole again. <coughs> oh my God, how did, I, how did I not be an asshole for three weeks and now I'm being the same old asshole? That's what recovery is, recognizing that. And then this commitment to staying sober and this uh, commitment to unraveling the complexity of your trauma and who you are and what... what what it is that is causing you to be sad, depressed, withdrawn, arrogant, um, make dumb decisions, codependent, all these things that, that we are that cause us to go back to drugs. All these things that all of the rest of the society is too. But they're really bad for us because it'll send us back to drugs.